It looks like the moon or Mars. Streaks of red, orange, and green paint a portrait of a rich geological past and offer solace for the soul. Sunrise at Haleakala lifts the spirit. From its fiery birth about two million years ago, this vast landscape has evolved into a geological fantasy land. Haleakala National Park is an incredible place where visitors can encounter the splendor of nature and discover the local history that surrounds it. Quite often when we think of volcanoes, we think of volcanoes like Mount St. Helens and Mount Fuji that erupt very violently. And those type of volcanoes make up about 95% of the world's volcanoes. Here in Hawaii, we make up about 5% um, of the other type of volcanoes called shield volcanoes, which are formed by hot spots within the mantle. These hot spots that burst through the Earth's crust created Maui and all the other Hawaiian islands. Here at Haleakala, what's referred to as Haleakala Crater, is actually not formed by a volcanic eruption. Rather, it's formed by erosional processes. And those processes would include rain, wind, streams, ice. And this erosional valley was filled by later eruptions. And you can see those eruptions down there by the cinder cones that you see. And at the top of each of those cinder cones is a true volcanic crater formed by an eruption. And while modern science reveals the geological history, Hawaiian legend tells a different story of Haleakala. One of the stories that we have of Pele in her travels through uh, the Hawaiian chain is here at Haleakala. At this elevation, it's a little chilly, yeah? Pele also found it a little chilly. And so she would take her fire stick and create little fires all around the floor. That's what, these, that's what the Hawaiians believe these cinder cones are, little fireplaces. A few reminders when traveling to Haleakala. First, driving time is about two to three hours to the summit. There is no gas or food available in the park. Weather and viewing conditions are constantly changing. Be prepared for cold, wet, windy weather. Dress in layered clothing that stays warm when it gets wet. Call this number for the National Weather Service. Also, high altitude can cause health complications, so those with respiratory or heart conditions should consult a physician. If you plan to hike into Haleakala, Ranger John Loretic has some valuable advice to keep in mind. The weather can change in just five or ten minutes, so be prepared with rain gear, sunscreen, hat, and drink plenty of water and bring something to eat also, and enjoy all the trails we have. The Park Headquarters Visitor Center is located just inside the park on the right-hand side. It's open daily. Maps, brochures, and books are available, as well as information on park programs and hikes. Haleakala National Park is an amazing place to see the powerful forces of nature and what has been created up here. This place is closer to the heavens, so that in itself um, pulls you spiritually to come. This is where you can visually see creation, so you can look out and feel the beginning. Sunset at Haleakala can enlighten the spirit, offering a glimpse into its history, as well as an understanding of those who have been here before. <laughs>